Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're talking about a rare watch from a company that only builds a few hundred timepieces a year, the Danish-Swiss hybrid Linda Verdlin. The first watches came out in 2006, and since then, they've built small batches of special series built around a few fundamental design tenets, and we'll work our way through those during this review. But first, let's talk about this Octopus 2, titanium with a ceramic bezel. This is a timepiece that launched as an 88-piece limited edition back in 2012, the second of the Octopus series, which was itself descended from the original Founders watch and biformator. The timepiece has a characteristic polyhedron Linda Verdlin case shape that's 44 mm millimeters in diameter, at least by conventional measurements, in titanium. So light on the wrist, it has a cushion-like profile that spreads its mass well, so there are no pressure points or hot spots on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. The watch is 15.7 millimeters thick with a little bit of a slope to its case flank. It will fit underneath jackets, if not tight dress cuffs. From lug to lug, it's just under 50 millimeters, so the case itself is 49.8 millimeters, meaning this watch is compatible, in my experience, with a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. Conference. The timepieces fit with a Linda Verdlin strap and a Linda Verdlin option deploying clasp. And I say option because that's not standard fitment on the company's watches, so somebody opted up and optioned up to fit that clasp. Let's talk about the strap first. It conforms perfectly. As you can see, it's held in place by hex screws with small black washers, and the same washers are used to distribute the load of hex screws throughout the design. So it's a modular design in that you can easily replace the strap with Linda Verdlin factory options, as there is a universe of alternatives in everything from synthetics to leather on the Linda Verdlin website. The strap itself is nicely made, and there are a few well-chosen creases and cleft marks that allow the strap to flex easily. You can see how it thickens and expands as it approaches to match the swell of the lugs and then it thins out significantly on the underside. There's also a small air pocket on each side to allow the wrist to breathe and to thin out the material for greater flexibility. You can see there's no need to cut the strap right here. The strap has a simple buckle mechanism that locks in place so you've executed your sizing and then you close this PVD black stainless steel clasp with a twin trigger locking system and now it is shut securely. Of course you normally get a pin buckle with these watches so the deployment clasp was an up option for someone along the way and you will be the benefit as the next owner. The upgraded clasp gives way to the opposite side of the strap and a case that is more than a little bit complex and thoughtfully designed in a classic sense, which is to say it's full of surprise and delight details. You can see that the crown itself features a lovely double knurling and the image of the octopus outboard jetting along. You'll also appreciate the fact that the case is beautifully finished, with the faceting both imaginative and impeccably executed. It's all of a satin finish too, which is in good taste as it mutes the glare and tones down this already loud watch to the point where it's exuberant without being overbearing. You will note that there is use of ceramic in the bezel, so this provides a bit of a scratch guard for the watch as the sapphire and the ceramic bezel are raised above the plane of the lugs to take the knocks, the scratches, and the scuffs that would ordinarily pose a threat to the titanium. You'll appreciate the fact that the outer face of the bezel has been handsomely polished, a slight polished accent giving way to a circular satin finishing on the bezel hood for contrast. Now there are little locking wings that appear to be almost almost like lock and key type fitments on the flank. And indeed, those are the locking wings that allow the reef dive computer to be fit to the watch. It'll also take the Rock Land Sports computer, but this is a 300 meter water resistant watch that's designed for Linda Verdlin's own reef dive computer. It features multiple dive timers, depth meters, depth recorders, data logging, backlights, alarms, all of that, allowing this watch, which is a true mechanical timepiece, to become a true professional piece piece of diving instrumentation. This is not an evocative rotating bezel the way a sports watch or a dive watch might have been built in the 50s or 60s. This is how a dive watch is built today. That's an accessory available through Linda Verdlin, and I highly recommend it. The dial has immense depth. Jumping in a little bit closer, you can see the interpretive design. It's sort of like an abstract octopus. You have the eyes and the mantle up the top, and then you have the multiple legs forming the extensions of the indices for the hours in the lower part of the dial. You can see there's actually blackened circular Cote de Genève on a plate just below the dial, which is skeletonized, and there is a double-digit date up at 12 o'clock. You can see the current Day is the 22nd. I'll put it in quick set mode. 
and flick through. There is actually a mirror surface underneath each of the numerals and it is a pleasure to manipulate the laser cut wheel. Now the dial itself has tremendous depth and contrast as you can see. The signal yellow is used for the minute track outboard. There's a flange that slopes down from the bezel and the Linda Verdelin logo hides down at approximately 7.30 on the dial. You'll also appreciate the fact that the hands themselves are beautifully satin grained. The attention to detail here is rich and you can see the top part of the Dubois de Praz modified caliber 14580, 26 joules, automatic winding, 44 hour power reserve, 288 beat rate. It features a quick set for the date and a stop seconds function. The base is ETA. The module is Dubois de Praz from Dubois de Praz, a complication specialist in Lelou, Switzerland. And underneath that case back featuring the laser engraved image of an octopus, which was drawn by Morton Linda, partner in the business and the industrial designer behind this execution. So this timepiece built in a limited series of 88, and the case back is actually inspired by the former tattoo models, which were entirely freehand engraved cases. So it's not just an original design, but it actually references prior Linda Verdelin timepieces. You can see this 300 meter water resistant Linda Verdelin Octopus 2 limited edition and make it yours on the watch box.